Hi, I'm Sue. And I'm Mel, and this is Manifesting with Mel and Sue. Today, we're going to be talking about, can you manifest the same thing as somebody else? That's a great question, Mel. So what if you are manifesting a specific job, or manifesting to win a lottery jackpot, or manifesting a relationship with a specific person, and someone else is manifesting that same thing? Um, who gets it? Is it the person who manifests harder? <laughs> no. Is it the person who persists more or believes in it more? No. Okay, so which person gets it then? They both do. Okay, how does that work? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. So basically, in your reality, you always get what you want. In their reality, they always get what they want. So everybody wins. So wait a minute, if both people can get what they want, how does that work? They must be in different realities. Yep. That's okay. It. So this is, this is going back to the idea of reality shifting. If you are manifesting something um, and you, you get it, then the other person does not in your reality. If they are manifesting something that they are going to get, they're shifting to the reality where they have it and you don't. It's not that that person do no longer exists in your reality. You're just in the reality where you have the thing. Mm -hmm. And they're living in a reality, separate reality, where they have the thing. So, I mean, it, it goes back to um, whether there are um, separate realities. And I believe that there are. And I feel I like that's, that's what makes the most sense. And I know it's, it's kind of a big leap to make. But if you just assume that because you are God of your reality and you're going to get what you want, you'll be in the reality where it's yours. And it doesn't exactly. matter if somebody else is manifesting it. That's right. And so this actually um, explains how people can manifest a, a relationship with a celebrity. Yes. Yes. That's a great point. So if you think about it, celebrities have probably a lot of people who are interested in being with them, um, mm -hmm. especially like teenage girls yes. are um, prone to manifesting relationships with celebrities. I know when I was a young teenager, I had crushes on celebrities and I imagined dating them and I even had dreams of being with them. Mm -hmm. So I was probably en route to manifesting them had I not got distracted by more accessible people <laughs> in my reality. <laughs> That's so true. In fact, um, I remember a story from many, many years ago. Do you know who the actress Mary Lou Henner is? Maybe some of our audience probably hasn't because that's like our generation. Yeah, before. she was on Taxi yes. and she is not to be confused with the gymnast Mary Lou Retton. <laughs> <laughs> like we did earlier. <laughs> yeah, we already recorded this video yes. once. It didn't work. <laughs> it's all good. This is better. Um, her husband actually manifested her. Um, obviously, he wasn't a celebrity, and she at the time was and still is. Um, and he had, they were watching a show that was probably Taxi that she was on. And he looked at his friend and he said, I'm going to marry that woman someday. And he just knew. He, he was just like, I'm marrying her. And he, end of story. And he eventually did. I don't, I actually don't know how long between the time that he said that, and I don't think it was too terribly long. It wasn't like five or 10 years, but, mm -hmm. um, I imagine it was within a year or two. That there were actually, less. there are actually a lot of stories about people who have manifested relationship with celebrities. I know Justin Bieber's wife, uh, um, Haley Bieber, yeah. yeah, when she was younger, she had a huge crush on him and decided she was going to marry him. And then she did. And, uh, you hear stories all the time of people like Zac Efron dating waitresses. So like... Anybody can manifest a relationship with a celebrity if they persist in it. Like, you might think that um, they're out of your league or whatever, but like we said in an earlier video, nothing is impossible if you persist so or you believe in it. So, so um, I think Cristiano Ronaldo's girlfriend, uh, they may be married now, she worked for, I believe it was Gucci. She was working for the store. And she manifested him, and now they're together. Oh, wow. Which I just read that story like, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. It was That's awesome. That's awesome. It was. Yeah. It was very cool. So she went from selling Gucci to owning it. Yeah. So manifesting something that somebody else has, um, I mean, y you can, it's, it's like, or something that somebody else wants. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter whether they're with someone else or someone else wants them because if you persist, you're just shifting to the reality where they're with you. You're not 
taking anyone's free will away. You're not breaking up a relationship. You're shifting into the re the reality where they were not going to be together anyway. Mm -hmm. They were not going to stay together, and that person would rather be with you because that's what you're conscious of. And that's the way that it works. That's the way reality shifting works. That's the way manifesting works. I think all manifestations are reality shifts. Mm -hmm. I think I talked about that in the reality shifting video. Yes. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty... Um, Lost my chain of thought. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, any other thoughts on manifesting something somebody else? Yeah. So I don't know if you have any good stories about that. Um, I think so. I can remember probably a little over a year ago, one of my um, really good friends, and she's actually um, a manifesting friend that we met in a manifesting group. And she lives, she actually lives in another country and we were FaceTiming and she had said to me, and this is before I knew that you can manifest the same thing as somebody else. And she had said something about wanting to marry my celebrity crush. And I was like, what? And, the, and I immediately <laughs> went to, oh, well, you know, she's really good at manifesting. She'll manifest them and I won't. Oh, and, no. yeah, that's not and a good assumption. It's not. But, you know, I didn't know about all of this yeah. um, the, the way that I do now. And so maybe it was a little more than a year ago um, or two years ago. And uh, you told me about being able to shift realities and that you can have the same thing that somebody else wants. It just is in your reality and you're not taking it away from somebody else. So if you're feeling guilty about um, wanting something that say somebody else wants and you don't want to be the kind of person that takes it away, don't because you're not taking anything away from them. You're just in the reality where you get it. They don't there. If they persist and they really want it, they'll be in the reality where they get it and you don't have it. And you guys aren't aware of either. You know, they're, they're in their own little reality. You're in yours. It's, it would be like if you and I were both, um, in a Hollywood movie studio mm -hmm. and you were filming in, in the studio over here, the, the warehouse where they have all the studios and you're over here and I'm over here and you're an extra in my film and I'm an extra in yours. Would you worry about how the script went? Would you mm -hmm. worry about like in your movie, you wanted this person. Would you worry about me taking them away? It's your movie. Right. You're the director. Right. You're the main star of that movie. You are God of your reality. So you always win. If you assume that you will, then you will. Exactly. I like it. Um, Neville had an interesting um, perspective. Um, were you talking about like feeling guilty mm -hmm. about, a, mm -hmm. about a manifestation? Um, Neville talked about how our desires are basically a gift from God. That, like we we have our desires for a reason like we're meant to to have the thing that we want um when you're god you're meant to have everything you're you're worthy and deserving of everything and you're meant to have your desires and you should never feel bad about wanting something i think a lot of times we have some maybe subconscious beliefs that like maybe wanting money is bad and rich people are bad and so it's wrong to, to, to want wealth or to be greedy. Um, but those are just, they're just limiting beliefs and you, you can and should have everything that you want and you should never feel guilty. Um, especially if you're not hurting anybody, you know? And, um, yeah, uh, there was something else about Neville that I wanted to say that I can't remember now. Well, that was a really great point though. Like, I really like that point. Um, because, if you've ever heard, I know you've heard this, um, that your desires want you, 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 what you want wants you back. Um, and that's another assumption that you can create for yourself. I know that that was, um, an affirmation that you had taught me mm -hmm. a while ago. It's in my list. I have, I have a list on my phone. Sue's epiphanies and it's like all the affirmations. That she I can't me. tell you how bad my SP wanted me. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> it's true. It's so true. And I've been very fortunate in getting to uh, experience all your manifestations that you've shared with me mm -hmm. um, and been a big part of that and you as well with me. Yeah. Which is very exciting. It's fun. It is. I know we've said it before, but get yourself a manifestation yes. buddy if you can, because it's super helpful and it's it fun. It really is. And it's great because 
Um, I've had times where I've struggled and I just call her or text her and be like, I can't do this anymore. And she's like, yes, you can. You know what's cool is that we almost never have to do that for each other No, anymore. not no, not really. We've gotten so much better. Yeah, we're both masters at manifesting. We are. And that that's actually was one of the first affirmations that you told me. I think we talked about in a previous video. Um, that was one of the affirmations that you said um, to start with is just say, I'm a master at manifesting. I am so good at manifesting with your other affirmations. And I, I don't even, I can't remember the last time that I affirmed that because it's so deeply ingrained in me. Awesome. And so I, I rarely, and you will get to a point where you don't, you don't have to, you're not going to say your affirmations forever. If, if I was manifesting an SP, for example, and I manifested them. I'm not, when you get into the relationship that you desire, you don't sit there and look at your phone to see if they're texting you. You're not like, oh my God, did they text me today? Oh my God, did they text me today? You don't care anymore because you already have your manifestation. So you're like, oh yeah, they're going to text me later or whatever. Oh, they didn't text me. Oh, well. So you don't worry about it as much. So it's, it's, that's kind of, I feel like if you can get into that state of living in the end of like, when you have it, you know, remind yourself. I'm not going to be checking my phone a million times a day to see if they texted me or if they're thinking about me. Because obviously if you're in a relationship with them, they're thinking of you. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, fun little trip, tip there. Yeah, I like it. Thanks. Um, another good living in the end tip. Yes. So I think that wraps up what to do yes. if someone else is manifesting the same thing with you. Bottom line is everybody wins. Exactly. <laughs> and if you don't feel like that's the case, just affirm for it. Um, and if you guys have any questions or stories of your own to share, comment below and tell us about them. Yes, and like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget, go out and manifest that dream life.